Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our uh, Monday connection, evening connection. And uh, we're making a connection for the entire week. I'm not going to raise too much my voice because I lost, uh, been busy uh, talking a lot and sharing a lot. So uh, I got a little, uh, and we were singing and all of that. So anyway, so uh, very, very exciting. Again, I just want to make sure everybody know that we are in the midst of what we call three weeks, the three weeks period. And the three week period, it's a very unique historic uh, time that it's it's a considered to be very negative time. Now, these are from the 17th day of the month of Cancer till the ninth day of the month of Leo. There are three weeks, 21, 22 days that they are very, very much considered to be the most negative days of the year. <clears throat> and it's important to understand what it means. Now, we know historically, and not because of the history, that's why it's considered to be negative. But these days known to be the two temples destroyed in that time. The, the, the walls of Jerusalem, right, fell in that time, broke. The, 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 the golden calf was in that time. Uh, the spies, who brought the terrible uh, re uh, report in that time. And many, many others historically, you know, the signature of the, of the, of the, of the document, and, and many, many negative things, not going into details, but it's better to us to understand, first of all, that these days are not negative, but negative things happen in that day. So that's a first of all understanding the spiritual understanding over here. And the idea is these days are tremendously powerful day that each one of the day correspond to one of the cosmic opening of the year, like Rosh Hashanah. There is two days that like Yom Kippur is one, Purim and so forth. Each one of those days. So in totality, there are 21, 22 days that are correspond to the most strongest days of the year, but they are combined in these three weeks. What does it mean? Because there is a tremendous amount of light in those days, us who have not the right vessel to handle this pressure, right? As I said, I give many, many examples. If I put a boiling water in a plastic cup, it's probably going to melt. Nothing wrong with the water, nothing wrong with the cup. It's just not the right use of that, not the right combination at that particular moment. So therefore, the, the intense amount of energy that's available in these three weeks, we need to be aware and to know it's better for us to be wait or take down the need for attention in these days. Take down the, again, big movements, big shifts. You know, I want to sell, I want to buy my, um, again, if, if you are in the real estate and you're buying and selling houses, it's okay, continue the same way. But right now to get married, I'm not going to recommend anybody. Right now to, you know, even if somebody waiting 50 years to get married and the only time they can get married is in three weeks, no, you're going to wait, you know, so... It's, it's 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 not just that it's a bad day, it's very strong, but we don't have the capacity to maintain that light uh, uh, in our life. So not to draw attention, too much attention in this. Uh, uh, take down high uh, high uh, octane thing or high high uh, tone or decibels, you know, take it down. No wonder I lost a little bit of my voice, right? In that day, of course, as I said before, don't start new business. Don't do many, many big shifts, big moves. It's a very important time to wait, you know, a, few, a couple more weeks, and then and then start in a better in a better in, a, a moment. Another thing you can do in these days, because most of these days represent lack of leadership, real leadership. That's why there's falling. 
right? The golden calf, the, the spies, many, many historic things. Even the Nazis back then, that was around that time as well. So, and many other things that around the world that we can uh, witnessing negativity, usually in those days, historically. But it represents lack of leadership or not the right leadership, all right? And each one of us can take opportunity in these days and awaken our leadership, our ability to lead in a much calm, much, much loving and much uh, 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 transparent as you can in these days. <clears throat> the week, the, the, the week's energy, we call it matot. Mate come from the word staff. Staff, right? So it speaks about the head of the tribes that each one of them had a staff that represented and indicated that they are the head, right? The person who holds the staff is like the leader. And the leader show people where to go. Mate is also a headquarter, right? The mate klali, the, 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 the head, the, quarter, the, the headquarter. And we know that in this week, what we want to receive, first of all, to be aware of the times that what we hear, the three weeks, don't forget. And second thing is, in this week, like I said, like last week, it falls in the time of cancer. And in the month of cancer, we know we want to eradicate the cancer disease from this world, but not in account that something else will come and take its place. Because most of the time when you take a negative, let's say, for example, what's the problem in eradicating a bad leader? Because a, a worse one is coming, you know, after after that. So there's some, sometimes people say, you know, better to deal with the devil I know, right? And a lot of people stay this way. In this time, <clears throat> in this time, it's important to awaken for ourselves, for the world, the the complete a, a, a removal of any space where cancer can sit. And it's only in place of space, only in place of space, place of unity, place of togetherness, no harm can come there. In a place of division, cancer can, can get in. In a place of separation, in a place of doubts, in a place of worries, cancer can come in. In a place of shoveling down all our emotions, not really be real about it, cancer can come in and, and mess up the system. In things that the people don't use, not really dealing from the past, and they think it's gone 20 years. No, we just learned a deeper class, and, and the companies really mentioned nothing, there's no disappearance. Anything you went through, anything you're going through and will go through, it's still there, never disappeared. Never disappear. It's just an added layer for you. Good or bad, or ability to communicate with this or that. It doesn't matter that it's added. And at some point, you will need to convert it. You can to transform that. There's no better time than the month of cancer because it's the month of, quote-unquote, no light. There's no shechina, they call it. No ozone layer almost all, all over the world. No no wizard fall in the summer because, you know, the, 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 the strength, the heat, right? So we know in this time, it represents almost like there's no ozone layer to protect. The, the world. So the word matot is also come from the word lehatot to divert, right? To take uh, a, a side, right? Uh, to take to to take it to this side, to take it to that side. Lehatot to divert, to to turn, right? To turn right or to turn left, you know. Or in other word, they use to 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 use for that they call it to tilt, right? Tilt to the right, tilt to the left, right? Like, or dodging, right? This is the energy. This is the energy. The energy of this week is that each one of us want to receive this week the control back to our hand. What does it mean? To be able to navigate my life to the right direction. A lot of people live life like victims and feeling like, oh, if, if I'll be lucky, or if that's going to happen, or by chance, if somebody will give me opportunity, and so many other excuses besides, I can divert, I can change the course of my life to where it should be. 
and it's in our hand, and this week is an indication of that. So, <clears throat> this is the, the big picture of what, what available. God spoke to Moses. Remember, it always starts this way. To represent that the creator speaks to our higher self. Every week, when, it, when it's written this way, I need to keep hearing how the creator speaks to my higher self. My, our lower self is communicate with ego. It's not with the light. It's with ego. I want to be able to listen to my higher self, to a place where I can receive messages that is influenced not just me, the entire world. So <clears throat> God spoke to Moses. We had to speak our, to our higher self. He says, speak to the staff. Speak to the head of the tribe. Speak to the staff. And it's important to understand what we're receiving by that saying, by that infusion of light to this universe, is that we have and receiving the infusion of light, the support that we need spiritually, because you cannot do it by yourself, but you need to dictate, you need to decide, you need to be the one who make the shift. And this week will give you the infusion of light to make so. So, <clears throat> One of the things that, that we want to receive over here is the power to change. The power to change I want first. Second is I want to be able to, like if somebody thinks that they're unlucky, today they have the power to change your destiny, to change your so-called lack, you know? No, you can activate the flow of your life. You can change and direct your relationship to a much higher place, to a much more, more unique place as opposed to a frustrated relationship, you know? And we know <clears throat> that in order to divert or thought or tilt things in life, you have to have that in your head. You have to see, you have to see it in your vision. You have to see it in your head first. And... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. And how do we do it? What do we need to ask for? Sorry. Let's let's go to different levels, different levels of that. Okay. One, what do I want to ask? Right? The verse that we're connecting to is what it says directly to us. Lo yachel dvao. Do not start talking. Anything that you say, you should do. This is the verse. And again, many people reading this verse. Do not start talking. And if you say something, you should do. How easy is that? Right? Is it an easy verse? Verse? And it's come from from this wisdom. What does it mean? Why they recommend that do not start talking, do not start your speech, do not start engage with anything in this world, because if you're about to, if you said something, you should do that. Is anybody in their right mind saying, I want to say things, I know I'm not going to do them. Most people in this world, I, I mean, I want to believe that if somebody says, yeah, I'm coming to your birthday or I'm coming to your party, you really want to come, right? Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming, right? Or maybe a lot of people have empty talk, right? Every speech. But majority of the people, if they say something they want to do, they really want to do it. But a lot of us are not doing it, right? How many times you said to yourself, I'm going to wake up at uh, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, that's it. That's my new thing, right? And then the next day you're tired. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go to sleep at nine o'clock every night. And then I have a, this party and this party and you end up 10 days later, not even, right? I wanted to do it. I even started, right? <clears throat> the first understanding from this week's portion, what it tells you, why a person cannot divert their life, why a person cannot hold the staff, why a person doesn't get the, the chance to change their life, to change their luck. One, 
one, I'll give you three ideas. One is because if you say you're going to do something and you didn't do that for what is an excuses, it's turned against you, immediately against you. What? But I wanted to do good. Yeah, that good goes against you. Better for you to, excuse my French, zip it, quiet down. Please, for your own sake. It's because a lot of us saying that because we want to look good, because we, yes, of course I want to do it. I didn't say when, I didn't say, you know, how, but yeah, I want to do it. If you say, you have to do. If you don't do, the first understanding that we cannot tilt our life, shift our life, is because so many things we said we're going to do and we did it. And now it's used against me. You are your own worst enemy. This is how you become your enemy. That's very simple. There's nobody. For example, when you say, I want to do, I'm going to. Uh, oh, Benjamin, I'm coming to your class. Right? And you didn't come. Did you say it like a vicious? You wanted to hurt somebody? No, I want to do something good. But I didn't. That good things become your enemy. Nobody is not like us. We're sitting here. Oh, we're so upset. You didn't come to class, you know. No, of course not. not no, but that's, good yeah, good intention. So the first understanding is, is before you talk, before you're jumping ahead and said, yeah, I want to do it. Oh, yeah. If you said it and you don't do it, it goes against you. That's the first understanding. And therefore, it limits your ability to tilt and to shift your life in any given moment that you want. Two <clears throat> is to come to the level that your speech, that your word have energy have power, have power, because anyone can say anything, right? But for example, I'll give you an example. If somebody that is very successful in business, right? And there's a record, right? And somebody who barely, you know, make a living and you need the business advice or you're struggling in some something in business, who are you going to go to, right? Because the person that is have a record and succeeding I most likely his word have power, have energy. But that's a very simple way of seeing it. What we're looking at <clears throat> is to get to a level that your words creates reality. As you say that, it, it's been created as you say it. This is a amazing level of where the Kabbalist is, is telling us to get into. Even scientifically, they start talking about it in many different ways that we can create matter by our thoughts, by, by, by creating it in our mind, it can create in front of us. That's literally what, what uh, you can check it out. Okay, don't believe me, I'm not a scientist, but Kabbalistically, it's true that your words creates the reality. Right? That's very powerful. That's the that's like the creator. The creator says, uh, uh it's heaven and earth. Boom. As he's saying, that's creating. You know, the tree is the animal, as he's saying that's creating. And we have that power. <clears throat> and anything you want will manifest in a tremendous way. Not coincidentally. That's not where we want. That is what are we asking for? Now, where do we take in it? Kechol hayotze mi piv, everything that comes out of your mouth, it says literally when people read it, it says yaase, which means if you say it, you should do it. But it's written differently in Kabbalah. In Kabbalah, we're saying yaase. Yaase. Which means First of all, anything you say you're going to do, you're going to do. But it will be created as you say it. That is a different consciousness. As you say it, it's created. Yeah, I say. 
Like the, your wish is my command. You know, you heard that saying, you know, that is what you want to get into. And again, we know we're not going to have an ill wishes if you have that power. If you have that power, you're never going to want to make anything negative, right? You don't want to speak any negative, And therefore, that is giving you the opportunity, the, the, the protection that, that the universe will listen to you and will create whatever you want. The third idea of that, the third idea that comes from that, it's the reason behavior like that, as people talk and not doing, is that the reason things in our life stuck or difficult or not exact, sort of, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it was good, but we can be, right? Sort of, not so complete. I feel like almost complete. There is one point that just this, Fix that thing and it's complete, right? <clears throat> and I don't feel that I feel, you know, exact. That's that's what, you know. There is a story over here in this week. Hopefully I'll, I'll you know, do good enough job to explain to you the 1% story, the physical story. <clears throat> and you will understand the spiritual significance that's available over here. Moses comes to the tribes and tells them, listen, you're going to be divided. You go to here, you go to this. And when you go into the land of Israel, you know, you guys are going to be divided in each land. Comes to Moses, the, the Reuven, which was the firstborn. He says, listen, Moses, we have a lot of cattle. We have a lot of things. And we're not going to get into the land of Israel. Over here, outside of Israel, the other side of the Jordan River, which today is Jordan. We're going to stay there. There's a lot of cattle and we have a lot of things over there. There's a good a good uh, uh, place for them. So uh, Moses doesn't understand. He's like, what? What do you mean you want to stay outside of Israel? No, not just us, even Shevet God, God, the name of God, and, and half of the tribe of Menashe. And he says, what do you mean? It's like, we walk for 40 years over here, you know, it was uh, you were in Egypt all the way you came here, and all of a sudden you don't you 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 want to stay outside of Israel? Something is like so he said, of course, it's it's a moment like you, you have to understand, it's like for most like what I don't understand all this effort, all this work, and you're not going in. So I'll tell you the background story. And again, it has to be with reincarnation a little bit, not a little bit, but a little bit the soul journey, right? <clears throat> this is a little bit deep, a little bit deeper than what we use, but it's important to stretch a little bit, to understand energies. Jacob, the father of all the tribes, right? you know, was escaping, his brother is trying to kill him, and he's escaped to his brother-in-law, the, the, um, the, um, Nef, Nef, Lavan, his name is Lavan, his uncle, I think, what, uh, how you say it? Father-in-law, father right? No, 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 he wasn't married yet. After? Yeah, after. So, he was, he was the brother of his sister, it's uncle, 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 right? Yeah. So, and he escaped over there, and long story short, he promised him his daughter, Rachel. And he worked for Rachel 21 years. Comes the wedding night. Now, back then, if you don't know, the woman was completely covered before the wedding. Right? You're not seeing the woman, your, your maid, for seven days. And even in the wedding, you don't see until you get married. You know, you 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 not even uh, uh, uncover the uh, the shawl, the whatever the the veil, right? Uh, by the way, since then, since then, I gotta tell you what happened, so you know what changes, right? So, uh, end up that he sleep with and uh, get married with Leah, which is the first born girl in the house. Rachel was the youngest. So now Lavan, the father, which considered to be a very negative guy, 
Laban, right? He switched between them. Now he deceived Jacob, right? Completely deceived. Jacob come in at night, they do what they do, and they realize, he realize, wait a second, where is where is Rachel? Right? I'm, I'm with Leah, right? By the way, since then, the the men always go before the the the, the wedding take place and they lift and they lift the the, the veil to see that it's it's her, right? And the other things, but obviously that came from them there because you never know if there is any Lavan who's trying to deceive, deceive you, right? So one, it's important to understand what happened. Jacob having a relationship with Leah, from the point of view of Lavan, he did the right thing. He says, no, in our home, you not marry the young one before the older one. Right? Even today, there's many, many people in the, around the world that are doing it, right? Is it correct to say? Like, yeah, even now, today, anyone who listens to it, if you have an older sister or brother and they married before you, right? You will feel a little bit, a little bit, something not right, something. Doesn't mean it's not going to be right, but something doesn't click. Now, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It's today's, today's reality. There are many different families who live by these rules. And if that's happening, it's like, okay, and they have guilt and all of that stuff, you know, dealt with a with few of those things. Anyway, still, till today it's happening, but that's by within, within itself. That wasn't the situation that we're dealing with right now. Reuven, Reuven is the firstborn with the relationship between Leah and Jacob. Now, they always refer to the firstborn as Joseph because he was the firstborn from Rachel, right? Later on, Jacob had few kids with Leah and then he married Rachel and then he had kids with her. And Joseph was the firstborn from, from Rachel. So now listen to this, what's happening. And I want you to really understand the reason I'm telling you a lengthy story because this is the story of each one of us. It's very important. I just saw it this week much, much clearer than, as before, than before. Lavan, the negative guy, he did the right thing, right? For him. He says no, but he did it wrong. He lied, right? He deceived somebody else, but for the good cause, right? For the right reason. A lot of us are falling to become Lavan, this person who changed the course of history, who the situation that after so many years right now, when Reuven, Reuben, comes to, to Moses, he says, we're not going to get in. Moses doesn't understand. Where is your consciousness? What are you talking about? And of course, Moses was not reactive like me, but but he was like, and and the Zohar, of course, revealed to us that Reuven didn't have the dot, didn't have the consciousness that he was supposed to receive. Because I'll tell you what happened spiritually. Jacob with Leah, he had the physical firstborn. But the energy could not insert it because it was Leah, the mother. So it cannot insert the consciousness delivery from, uh, from Jacob to, to, the, to the born, to the firstborn, uh, uh, which is Ruben. So the consciousness went to Yosef. Yosef was the firstborn consciousness. It's, a, it's, a, it's an energy thing. It's not about the rule of who first, who born first. Or, it's a certain purpose. And because Jacob did not know that it's not Leah, that could not deliver. That could not deliver. So now, listen to this. That's happening uh, many years prior to the situation that we're dealing right now. And guess what will happen? They're going to go sit outside of the land of Israel. 
they will not participate in many things and many revelation, many revolution. And who knows what, what's going to happen with those lineage? Who knows what is this lineage? Even, even now, take like, for example, you know, that I'm just thinking about, you know, uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can conceptualize why, for example, if you're talking about Israel, why all the people in Iran or the Houthi in Yemen, what's the connection? Who are you? There's not even a border. There's even an ocean away. What are you guys? And, and I'm, I was thinking about from this moment, each one of the people who had, again, we never know what type of creation, what type of terrorized reality we create to ourselves because we're doing the right thing, right? But with the wrong consciousness. We're doing... Yeah, this is the right thing to do, but we're deceiving others. We 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 are not transparent and we're saying the right thing, but the intention is not there. You know, let me tell you even more than that. <clears throat> take, take an action of sharing that you do. Is all the actions of sharing that we do have 100% intention to share of it? Let me tell you more. Even if it's just one inch, 1% 1 of that is selfish, it's still getting to the wrong place. It still manifests for you something completely wrong. As I said, delay. Hey, you have to go back to that place and fix it. Everything that we do, it has to be that the desire and the consciousness and the action are equal, are aligned. Like you say, one in mouth, one in the heart, right? If you say one thing and your heart not in it, you do it. People enjoy it. But it's later on will take you in a different route. You are not going to be able to divert your life, to, con to, to shift your life anytime you want, anytime you need, because you're dragging yourself to other things that you need to deal with because of many, many things that we're doing in a deceiving way, not in an honest way. And therefore, we cannot achieve we cannot Get to the level that when you say something, it will get done. Not by people, by the universe. So again, it's all going to come back to corrected. So when I saw, when Reuven came to Moses now, it's like, wow, it went back to the correction of its birth, his birth. And it's not even in his fault. It's not even in his fault. It's the conscience of the parents in the time of conception. But why did I connect it? Because the father, a liar, deceived them to be together. Like each one of us, you know, how each one of us are, look around, look around how many people, oh, you guys should be together. Oh yeah, you look like soulmates. Oh, you should do business together. Oh, you should go move in together. And we give an advice like that? Are you crazy? You are the child of Lavan who, <laughs> Uh, 150 years ago did that we never know what are you are You crazy to give advice I'm so scared giving advice even though I see clearly sometimes it's still scary because what if they, what if that's not the right thing how dare you say that uh, you know what you should move over there or oh, you should do this or you should do be very aware that most of us are just talking empty talk because it's nice, because we think we see or we understand. Then, <clears throat> then, as a result of that, what I would like each one of us this week to work on, when I'm about to say what I'm about to say, ask yourself, is the consciousness, the actions that I'm about to take, is it connected to a bigger picture? Is it is it bringing unity? Is it bringing? Is there is any influence for positivity in this? 
Is there any serving consciousness in what I'm doing? As a result of what I'm sharing or what I'm doing, is people going to feel more connected or disconnected? Lo yachel dvaro, do not start your talk with anybody or your suggestion or, or, or advices unless it's connected to influence, unless it's connected to a bigger picture, unless it's connected to transformation. Because if not, then you create judgments. What do you mean judgment? Again, in this world, in the, in the portion, they call it differently, right? They call it Nekom Nikmat Bnei Yisrael Me'et Hamidyanim. Then, it's going to come back to vengeance you. It's going to come back to vengeance you, right? Vengeance? Vengeance. Avenge. Avenge. Avenge you. Thank you. So it will avenge you, right? No? Avenge you? What are you trying to say? It Nicole, avenge, you. Avenge, avenge is when somebody like, takes yeah. something. Like, you got it, right? It's going to come back to take vengeance, okay? Take that, vengeance that's good. Vengeance. Yeah. But what, what, what will come back to take vengeance? He says, Me'et a Midianim. Midianim is a Midian, but it's the word Dinim. Mid Dinim. Right? It's the word Dinim. The judgments is called Dinim. They're going to come back to claim back that light from you because you send me, you know, let's say, for example, let's say you give an advice to somebody to do, let go, go ahead and marry that person. Everybody's happy, the wedding, all of that, but it's the wrong thing, right? And you don't know because whatever, you jump before even talking, you don't even know what you're saying. Just, I'm a channel, you know, all, all kind of stories like that. The judgment that those people are going through come back to prevent you from receiving light or from diversion of your movie from negative to positive. From sadness to happiness. But I want to be happy. Why? I'm, you can't move from sad to the staff, from judgment to mercy, from sad to happy. You can't. Because those judgments that you created by your words, by your suggestion earlier in your life, or who knows how many years ago, they come back to claim. What does it mean? It has to bring back everything to its source. It has to bring back everything to its origin, how it's meant to be. And because you got engaged and involved in with your ego and what you think is right, and you know, you're deceiving everybody about it, then you cannot get back control over your life. You're not gonna be able to shift. I'm lazy, I wanna get up, I wanna do something. I'm not gonna be able to do that. And therefore, as Ravashek says, Mafri'im <clears> lehashlim <throat> matrat abriya. Ravashek says, these are the things who are disturbing from solving or overcome or, or connecting to the cause of creation, which is complete of, of revolution of life. Again, that's what he says to you. <clears throat> that we all need to get to Jerusalem. Have you heard about that? We all need to go up to Jerusalem. Have you, have you heard that before? No, in, in Christianity, I think they're also saying it, no? The what? Oh, yeah, you were just in Jerusalem. No, but they say, you have to get to Jerusalem. And again, everybody needs to go up to Jerusalem. What is Jerusalem? In Hebrew, it's called Yerushalayim. And the word Yerushalayim, it means Yare Shalem. Yare Shalem, which means you have the, have the energy of awe. And also fear, but you have to be complete, which means you need to be so sure to be afraid to suggest to people to do this and that. Because you might be, if you have that healthy fear that you know you're not maybe not with the light, maybe Lavan, maybe the 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 you know the, the father-in-law, the negative guy, maybe get in and tell me to say something. Be very aware. Be complete. Don't be half when you make a decision. Be complete 
when you before you talk, you know exactly what you want to say, you know exactly what your intention there. Maybe the words you don't know, but the intention and the reason of what you're doing or what you're saying. So this is this week. And again, there's many others, but but it's important to keep it simple. These three points that again I wanna wanna make sure to repeat it. This this week we can really divert negativity of cancer to positivity of cancer. We can let a thought that people get sick from cancer, people get healed from cancer. Cancer exists in this world, boom. We all of us are gonna say cancer goes away from this world. But we don't wanna create a room where other things will fall into it. We wanna fill that with light. Same thing in our life. When you want to divert your life from depression to, to happy, from sad to happy, from lack of motivation to motivation, from negative to positive, most of us need, have that power. But it's prevent us because of many other things we've done that coming back to haunt us. And who is that? It's you. You are your worst enemy in this way. So again, if you say something, you better do that. Second is to get to the level that when I'm doing, I'm saying something, if you have the real, real connection, when you say something, it will manifest greatly. The creator will say, will do exactly what you say. And this is this week, we can shift many, many things around us, around our, our life. And uh, um, yeah, thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Um, be aware of the three weeks, okay? Thank you so much. Eddie.